Greetings to my brothers and sisters in Christ. I pray you are all well. Thank you for coming along to this uh, breaking news video on Sunday, February 28th, 2021. I'm looking right now at Sputnik News. Explosions heard in the skies above Syria's Damascus. Um, Damascus attributes frequent missile attacks that Syria faces to Tel Aviv. Israeli military operations are targeting what is believed to be Iranian-backed militia groups in the country. These explosions were heard in the skies above the Syrian capital of Damascus on Sunday at 10.16 p.m. local time. That's our time, Greenwich Mean Time here in the UK, 8.53. So it's only about nearly 10 minutes ago. Syrian state-run news agency reported, citing military source, the airstrike was reportedly launched from the Golan Heights, aimed at targets in the vicinity of Damascus. According to the report, Syrian air defence systems responded to what is believed to be Israeli aggression and managed to intercept a number of missiles. The uh, SANA shared footage of the attack on its Twitter account. I mean, uh, well, Isaiah 17, Ooh, I, I'd say we're close, to be honest. Uh, let's look at some more reports. So this is um, Haaretz, the, an Israel news source. Syria reports Israeli strike over Damascus. State media says explosions were heard above the Syrian capital. Syrian state media said on Sunday... Air defences responded to an Israeli attack over the capital, Damascus. Explosions were heard in the sky above the city. There was no immediate report of any casualties or damage and no comment from Israel. Tensions in the region have spiked following the recent US airstrikes in Syria. Yeah, uh, this is where it's all coming from, folks. Nice one, Biden. <laughs> um, Yes, he's, he's not been in power long and he's starting wars already. Um, I'm sure this uh, video will get removed for that little comment. But anyway, then it said targeted facilities used by Iranian-backed mili militant groups and an attack on Friday against an Israeli-owned cargo ship, which you'll see um, in my prophecy update, in the Gulf of Oman that Israel said Iran was behind. So, ten times, folks, uh, this year, as uh, 2021, has started off with a bang, to say the least, um, and then some, you know, it's, it's, it's getting hairy, it really is. I will go out on a limb and say, look, um, we are there, folks, um, we know what's coming and we know the Lord is near and we need to start um, thinking about getting out of here. Um, I'm sure people will look at this video and say, oh, you know, the rapture is not going to happen. Well, that's up to you what you believe. If somebody is coming to this video and has their own opinions, that's fine. Don't come up against other believers in Christ. Who believe in the imminent return of, return of Jesus Christ because Isaiah 17 is at the door and I believe Christ Jesus will come before that. I do believe the interval church age is a gap between prophecies that are have been fulfilled and will be fulfilled. I do believe we're on the edge of shall we say eternity. The wedding is about to begin. That's all I can say. Uh, but so grab onto your seats, your hats or whatever. Um, I'm going to have to say it. Uh, we fly soon. Um, I, I'm going to say that. It's um, right at the doors. And I would just say stay in prayer, stay in the word, love one another and forgive one another. If you know anybody who you can get through to in, in the ways of getting them to Christ, do it when and where you can, because time is of the essence. Thank you for watching this video. Lots of love to you all. I love you all. Um, thank you for being here. Thank you for your kind comments always. 
I'll provide the links to these new stories in the description box. Thank you for watching. God bless you. Bye for now.